a short while later and it's all coming together. I really stop, like how it's... Stop, 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 stop. There's a problem, Beardy. What now? Well, I'm afraid this needs to be an intro. There was... No, don't do it. Yep, yeah, look, there was an incident... Don't say it. An incident. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock, where I've built up loads and loads of buildings and completely lost all the footage. What a waste of time. It is looking a lot better around here, but oh my days, I've literally... This is this is like two days worth of work, and yeah, there, there, there was a slight problem with, with, with the hard drive, and all the footage is gone. That's all you need to know, apart from the fact that now we don't have an episode at all, so this could be an interesting one. So to give you a quick tour of what we've done around here, we have a giant crab statue, courtesy of Liara. This crab was actually up on the hill, and I've moved moved it down here just because the space here was looking a little bit open but yeah we've, we've done so much building so if we pull back and get a wider view of the area you can see everything from here this way is what we built up on the last video that now no longer exists so these buildings here do not have any particular purpose whatsoever at the moment i just wanted to expand the town we needed to start shifting away from the orange roofs and to be honest, I am really liking how this has come out, but it's still got a long way to go. So we got this path installed, which goes up and actually goes under this building. And this links up to the building over here. And I'm going to say building a lot over the next few minutes, so I warn you now. We've then got a line of smaller buildings along the front here, and these other buildings, and buildings, buildings, buildings everywhere. But I think the building we're going to focus on today is going to be this one here, which is going to be a ginormous tavern, which is basically why it's here. It's looking a little bit fancier than the other. Others, it's a bit taller and what with it being on the junction of about four different roads here it did seem like a good place to put one i just need to figure out how to actually do the interior because we have got so much space in here we have three floors of wonderful wonderful tavern space possibly even four if we do the top something else i want to do today is to get this area out the front here paved we need to actually finish off these buildings although they've come along well we still need a few more details here and there so i think the first thing i'm going to do to break myself in gently after doing all this building and losing everything i think what i'm going to do is actually focus on the path down here i'm going to get all the road in might even get some of the bit that goes up here to the top and a little bit later on we're going to be meeting up with some of the other t beers because groover has made a new game that we all want to try out first things first though let's go grab some stone and other bits and bobs gently weep into my cup of tea about all the footage that's been lost well the road's looking better i've managed to get some bits in you may notice there's the start of another building there as well just can't help myself but after putting in the road there was a massive space over there and i figured that was a good way to fill it so we'll get that done gradually throughout the episode hopefully you'll just see bits getting added to that as we go but this road this street this doorway especially needs a needs a door but lots of details still need to be added we've got the basics in we've got it all down how it should be but there's no life absolutely zero life on this street and i'm not happy with that but i am happy with it now and you may notice i've also finished that building i'll say finished it's it still needs some detail but it's definitely looking better but more importantly we now have life on this street i've got some avatars we've got some overgrowth we've got barrels and stuff collected everywhere we've even got a passed out groover I can only assume he fell down the stairs, but I'm not entirely sure. As we go further around, we've also got a peasant beardy pulling the wagon. We've got this dude over here, which is one of Zloy's skins, but either way, just works quite well. But my favourite bit is over here, where we have a baby Tiz and a Jesse looking up at Liara's crab. This is actually Sir Crabbington now. But the addition of these small details really does bring life to this whole corner of the town. We do, of course, still have absolutely zero interiors in these, but to be honest... I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. We might just block up the doors in the meantime, put some black concrete there so people can't actually get in. Not going to help for the windows, though. Or maybe we can try and bribe some TBs into coming over and decorating them. They can even claim them as their own houses if they so choose, just as a holiday home, maybe, over here in Midlandia. Which sadly is still the name, so if you've got an idea for a good name for this area, then please do leave it in the comments, because it does need a real name. And I really do love this piggy skin. It looks well gangster. Not 100% sure it fits in with the theme, but that's not what's important. With that area all done, though, I think the procrastination is over, and it's time we did an interior. And I think, as I said earlier, this is the one we're going to focus on. So we have three floors of interior to do in total, and I've got a rough idea on how I want to do certain bits of this. I think we might put in a couple of rooms at the top, so it's more of an inn as well as a tavern. And on these other two levels, we're just going to have lots of drinking tables. We need to put a bar in, potentially even some stairs down to a cellar. So I'm going to have a play around in this area here, and I'll bring you back in once, hopefully, we've made some progress and this place is looking a little bit nicer. Something a little bit like this, maybe? 
I'm quite pleased with that. I think that's come out all right. This is, of course, just the downstairs. We've got two other floors to show as well. But down here, we've got some patrons in. We've got the bar in at the back here. We've even got an Ender's Lloyd barkeep. And, of course, a bell for last orders, which I've just set fire to. Oh, jeez. Well, that was unintended. I do, however, need to set fire to some candles that I've got scattered about. So it is fairly simple in here. We've just used stairs and slabs and things like that. It's all very sprucy, sprucy in here, but I think it does work. I just wanted it to be like a dingy midtown tavern type thing. And I think we've pulled that off okay. And I do like the chandelier as well. Back round behind the bar, however, we do also have a kitchen area through here with its own little side entrance. And this has got like a little storage bit, a few details, nothing too major. I mean, it is a medieval kitchen after all. As we come upstairs, we've got some more seating areas we have myself and Groover over here chilling and I just absolutely love these avatars they really do bring life to a place and they allow you to do things like this which always makes me chuckle and as we go up to the last floor I did in fact manage to squeeze in some rooms I actually managed to get four rooms here in total they're fairly basic they just have beds this is probably the fanciest one it has a blue bed the rest are just white but each room's kitted out in a fairly similar way just with a couple of shelves a bed some storage and so on and lastly round here we just have a little storage room because it was a bit of a small space that one I never want anyone to have to stay a night in there. And this door here just leads to the outside, which is dangerous. Let's close that door and run away. The good news is, though, that the biggest building in our town currently now has an interior. Although it doesn't have a sign outside saying what it is. So that's probably something I should focus on next. So as this is the tavern, I'm thinking we might be able to get away with using paintings potentially as the sign. You know what I'm thinking. Pubs, they always have those like really fancy signs out the front. And I think I want quite a big sign. Maybe like, maybe even a three by three area sort of thing hanging down i don't know let's see what we can come up with that actually works a lot better than i even expected brilliant and with the painting that came out that does actually give me an idea for a name for this place so this shall henceforth be known as the withered skull excellent although if we're going to call it that we should probably at least have one wither skull in here, right? I think I've got some in my ender chest. There we go. The pub's looking a little bit more themed to its name now. We've even got a wither rose in here as well as a variety of wither heads scattered about the place. Excellent. And with that, I think we could call the withered skull officially open. One more building complete. Although we've been spending a whole bunch of time over here recently, there is one thing we haven't done, and that is to check our shop profits. And if there's one thing I really could do with, it's a few more diamonds. But what made me think of that was as I ran past here, I saw this. There's literally a diamond block sitting in the middle of the shop. Although we don't appear to have sold anything, so I'm very confused, but I'll definitely take it. But now I guess we should check out the rest of our shops and see if we have any other profits laying around. We do, there's another diamond block. Excellent stuff. Hello, what's this? Sorry you couldn't make it. Hope to see you soon, Piggy. BB County Fair souvenir. Ah, oh, yes, of course, the County Fair. Sadly, I wasn't able to make it, but we've got an ice cream sandwich, some cotton candy, a candy apple, County Fair souvenir, and a deep slate diamond door. Excellent stuff. That's very nice of Piggy. So I've checked all my stores in my main shopping area, and we're doing quite well for diamonds so far. We've got nine blocks and another 49 diamonds. But I'm thinking while we're doing this, we may as well check our other shops as well. So first up, we have our nether-based shop, which, to be honest, we don't really need anymore. I know it's kind of a shop of convenience, but it's kind of inconvenient for me, because I keep forgetting it's there. And what with Tid's building a new nether hub up on top of this one anyway, this area is probably going to be a little bit more redundant. So I might actually just move this shop altogether. Still selling some stuff, though. And the last place for me to check is, of course, over at Tiz's. And I believe he's moved all his portals around. This whole area down here is actually looking very cool now. I'll show you the main hub a bit later on as well. But for now, just, just look at this. He's basically recreating an ancient city down here. And I really like what he's done with the place. Oh, here we go. Tiz Mall, Tiz Storage. Okay, so we want to go in this one. We almost went to his storage there. And I always love coming to this place. Look at this. This is just absolutely massive. And it looks so cool. Of it. Oh, and he's changed the portals and stuff as well. Very cool. Anyway, we're here for the shop. Let's go down here. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. We sold loads of kelp. Excellent. No pickles, no melons, no pumpkins. And what's this? Coupon? Coup coupon? Why is there a coupon? Who's buying stuff with coupons? Well, I hope they've got some value somewhere. The cheek. And what's this? This is new. The bunny rabbit. Oh, oh, oh dear. Yeah, that's that's quite horrific. And this looks new as well. Lucky. Uh oh, this sounds dangerous. I've just I've just gone around and collected all my diamonds. 
Welcome to Lucky Button 1.0. There's a book. Uh, you can buy a button push by paying one diamond into the chest. You have a chance of getting from zero to three diamonds each push. If it's out of stock, then you get nothing and take your diamond back. Okay, so what's in there? Diamonds, gold ingots, gold nuggets, iron ingots, iron nuggets, and more tokens. Ah, maybe that's what these are. Tokens worth half a diamond each at the mall and can't be used on more button... Half a diamond? You say they're worth a diamond. Hmm, I'm curious. Anyway, I, I feel like we should give this a go. We've, we've got a little bit of diamonds to play with. Let's see if we can uh, get ourselves some more. Let's buy ourselves eight presses. We'll keep these ones here. So is it this button? It is. Oh, well, we didn't do well on the first one. So our eight diamonds got us four diamonds back and loads of rubbish we don't want. Although technically this is worth, what, another three and a half diamonds? We're half a diamond down. That mall token is definitely not the same as a coupon worth one diamond. Wait a minute, what does the book say? Tokens worth half a diamond each at the mall and can't be used on more button presses. Well, this one's worth a diamond, so they're clearly not the same thing. That gets us another five presses in my book. Excellent. Much more like it. We've got the equivalent of 12 diamonds now. Well, enough of that. Let's head home and go get ourselves ready, because we are going on a night out. This is my favourite kind of background. <laughs> Does anyone know why we're here? Something uh, about no. No idea. dying in lava? Something something, something no? like that. Yes, no? <laughs> dying in lava? Hopefully not. I don't want to die. Well, oh, trying not to die in lava. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That sounds fair. I that sounds that's... fair. Um, <laughs> should, we, should we have a look at the How It Works book? This is Pearl Core. Caution, you might burn to death riding this ride. Well, that's a good start. Uh, so please leave <laughs> all your valuables in the ender chest provided, assuming you've got space. Uh, fire potions available at knockdown prices. Pearl Core is free to ride, but might cost you your life. Have fun. Uh, to ride the Pearl Core, all you need to do is pearl to the various platforms laid out for you, moving from the starting platform one, then following the numbers up to number nine. So we, we all go in at the same time, here. Huh? All well, right. it'd be rude not to, right? Are we doing a yeah. countdown, yeah? Well, we should probably. The thing with that is, we're going to end up end up pearling into each other as well, so we've got to be careful. Be yeah. <laughs> oh, so we all so got maybe food, one at a time, but like for each area. For of each the track. platform, yeah. Okay. Okay. I've just thrown mine. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. It, 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 it moves. Oh, no, you oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, I'm hey. so far away. Oh, gosh, hey. that's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. First time, every time, easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going down. Oh. I'm going down. <laughs> okay, I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. Oh no, I don't oh, think no. I got it. Oh, oh you no! Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm, in, I'm inside. I'm inside. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I landed in. right on the edge. Where am I right now? I can, hold on, hold on. You're, you're, you're sort of underneath and behind it, Tiz. Hi. I can oh. see you. I ended up in Groover's shop, which was probably all part of the plan. <laughs> That's amazing. That's sneaky. Who died? You miss number two and you end up in the shop. So we wait the... for them to get over here? Yes, yeah, yeah, we just uh, try and catch up. Oh, or... oh, you missed. Oh. Stone. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! I did a die. Oh, oh dear! Oh, oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> There's not gonna be any pearls left. <laughs> Yay! I what just about made it <laughs> right on the edge. Hey. I've put my beardstone head over here on number two just to show where I died. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I'm okay. saying. Hey. Are you all waiting for me? I feel uh -huh. like Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, no I'm gonna miss it again! Uh -oh. I totally missed again! Oh! Are you in the shop? Okay. Yeah, I'm in the shop, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh... Oh, well done, JC! Nice. We would have been here all day otherwise, I'm sorry, but... It, it's so weird that all of our all of our episodes just glitched and we lost that footage yeah, of you. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. How weird is that? Okay, but we all made it to number two, yay! Yeah. Yay. Okay. What a weird hard cut. Mm. <laughs> hey, I, I was nervous there, I was nervous. That was... Uh, that yeah, was... I think I'm... Oh, wow, I thought it was low. Oh, yeah, I that, so I did I. Low. Oh, it is low. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, they're all so low! You are waiting for me now, Mommy. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, oh. 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 
Oh, no! It's <laughs> <laughs> over screaming! Oh. <laughs> I've been like you're running everything! Why did I fly? <laughs> no, why? Why am I so mad at this? Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. I'm not even yeah. halfway through my jaw hurts. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, oh look, Daisy. I landed on top of it! Oh, that, did you oh, see that Oh, good guy? landing, Daisy! Oh, good God. landing! Oh, that was so close! Oh, that, was so close. Oh, that was sketchy, but well done, well done. <laughs> Woo! Oh, there oh, it is! Oh, there it is! How far above it are you aiming? Oh, wow. That, I thought I was... I, I aim you pretty good? much <laughs> directly at the middle of the number. Again. The middle of the number? I yeah, was that's aiming where I aim. higher. Really? No. I aimed higher than that. Did oh. you? Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Hey! <laughs> what? <laughs> I, J I Jesse stitched you up second. there. Oh, I remembered no. last second about my wings. <laughs> it, was, it was too late. I, I, I literally <laughs> aimed above the entire panel to land on it. Wow. And, there, and there's Jesse, like, yeah, middle of the number, Jesse. Oh. <laughs> Lies. I didn't know. I well, aimed I it way above it. <laughs> I think it depends on like what, like where you're looking. I get like I my cursor isn't at the middle of the number, but like my gaze is, I guess. That Wait, sense? so that you're aiming your character? <laughs> your yeah, like I'm you're looking? making your character aim one place, but in real life she's looking higher, yeah. and so that makes her fly farther. <laughs> That sounds like some sorcery. I'm looking at the middle of the number, but my actual character on screen is looking way above it. Like, but my eyes aren't. <laughs> you know what? Good job, Jesse. Um, I just aim. You know, I just, I just throw it. It's fine. Oh, oh no, what's on. going on? What the heck is going oh, you on? How did you catch up? On I was like, I have like... no idea. I don't know. You're on a bad day today. I feel oh, like dear. I've been punished for cheating. I mean, uh, put for it, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, how did I stop doing this? I can't. Um, I've just seen where number seven is. You're not going to like go. this. Oh, there's an number seven. Number seven is the worst it. in the world. Look over there. It's off to the right. Yeah. Off to the right. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, it's under the bridge. I can hardly see Wait, it what? on my screen. I'm going. I've, oh just, my I've, gosh. I've lobbed one. I'll Do see it. you later. Later. Oh. <laughs> you don't like know you. Under Did you make it? Uh, I'm in an Enderman farm. Eight's easy. <laughs> No, it oh, isn't! Oh, no, 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 it isn't! Eight was easy! Eight was easy! Oh, Endermite! Oh, Endermite! Endermite! Oh, no, an Endermite! Endermite knocked, it knocked me off and put me down to half a heart! Jeez! <laughs> that brutal tactics, Jesse. Was that my Endermite? Yeah. Oh, sorry! <laughs> I wish. So are you supposed to land on top of nine or what? Are you no, hit, no, you hit it, it and yeah. then you drop into the the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <Good job. laughs> nice. Oh, you didn't take damage, Piggy. Everyone else did. I have no idea nice. why. Jacy <laughs> <JC> cheated. Jacy <laughs> <laughs> headphone. Wow! 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 Thanks. All round, I'd say some glowing reviews. Well, that was a whole bunch of fun over there playing Pearl Core, and I'm definitely going to be doing that again. And we'll set ourselves some different challenges, and I think maybe just completing it without dying would be quite nice, wouldn't it? But sadly, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye bye now. Let's get her. No, what? <laughs>